My name is Mediha, and I work at the New York Hall of Science, teaching science to children just like you. Today, we're going to be making a toy launcher using simple materials, a paper cup, balloon, and tape. We're also going to need some pom-poms, but if you don't have any, no problem. You can also use cotton balls, or make your own balls using aluminum foil to test it out with. Join me as we learn about the science behind toy launchers while we're playing and having fun with them. Let's get started. Here we have our materials that we will be using. Scissors, a paper cup, balloon, stickers, markers, and some tape. Let's learn about the science behind our toy launcher. We are going to focus on a special science rule called Newton's Third Law. Newton's third law states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. To help us understand this better, we're going to see how it applies to our basketball. When we hit the ball toward the floor, that's our action. The equal and opposite reaction is that the ball bounces right back up towards us. Can you guess what the action and reaction will be for our toy launcher? Let's find out. First, we are going to take our paper cup and using our scissors, we are going to cut off the bottom of it. This can be a little hard to start but we can ask an adult to help us by making a hole for you to start cutting. As you see, I'm cutting all the way around and it does not have to be super perfect. We're going to take that piece out and then whatever excess parts we have will rip out. There we go. All right. Next, we will take our balloon and using the scissors, cut off part of the top of the balloon. This will be easier than cutting the cup because it's a softer material. Much easier. All done. Then, we are going to tie a knot with the opening of the balloon. We may need some help to tie the knot from an adult. Next, take the balloon we just tied and attach it over the part of the cup we cut. Like this. All done. Then we are going to put our tape around our balloon just to make sure it's secure into place. So we're gonna take some duct tape that we have here and I'm just gonna wrap it around the balloon just so it doesn't pop off when we use it. Lastly, using some stickers or markers, you can decorate the outside of your cup. You can use some stickers or markers of your choice. We are all finished. We have made our toy launcher. To use it, first, we will put a pom-pom or aluminum foil ball inside. Then we are going to pull the knot of the balloon towards ourselves and let it go. And our pom-pom or foil ball will shoot out. We can also test this by setting up a stack of cups and aiming to knock them over or a bullseye and shoot your ball to it. Wasn't that cool? Our pom-pom went so far. Newton's third law was applied here. When we pull the opening of the balloon, that is our action. When we let it go and the pom-pom 
or whatever your ball is, goes to the other side. That's our opposite and equal reaction. That was fun to do. Thank you for joining me in making your own toy launcher. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. Bye.